thought. I did wonder where all the manufactured Vulgus went, but I never expected them to be battle-ready this quickly. No matter how solid our defense line is at the White Knight Gulch, against a force that large, we won't be able to protect the Ironheart. And because they've divided their forces, Albion is under threat as well. This is why the Vulgus pulled their forces back from the White Knight Gulch. To make us lower our guard, and to lure us into the White Knight Gulch with the Ironheart. We should head back to HQ. I'll take Dr. Han to the Medical Corps. Don't worry, I don't need any help. When I got him on his feet earlier, he wasn't heavy. He really is just like paper. I could probably carry him around, he's so light. Did you know that Eugen can't use his RK abilities on himself? He sacrifices so much for his teammates, and he can't even heal his own heart. I feel so bad for him. But I know he'll be fine. <laughs> he has you and me, after all. His partners in arms. Don't worry about him. Let's head back. I'll see you soon. That's a promise. This is HQ. Again, all zones in Albion are on high alert. Any descendants who are operation ready should meet at HQ. This is an important operation, but listen here, descendants. Corel's fleet has begun its approach. The predicted attack targets are the White Knight Gulch, where the Iron Heart is located, and Albion. HQ's predictions of the numbers of remaining Vulgus forces have been completely inaccurate. <sighs> to mass produce that many troops so quickly. Corel lured us into a false sense of victory, then used that to bring the Iron Heart into the Vulgus's orbit. Also, after the phenomenon of the light beams near the Hagios, the dimensional wall has been weakening at an alarming speed. The closure of the dimensional wall and this diametrically opposite phenomenon. This might be due to the inversion that Corel spoke of. We're already seeing the Colossi being affected. Descendants, for now, please prepare for an intercept battle. According to Seneca's report, the Pyromaniac Colossi are approaching Ingress. This truly is the worst case scenario. First Corral's fleet, and now the Colossi?
Commander's explanations confusing? The intercept of the pyromaniac has been confirmed. Job well done, Descendant. However, given the current state of the dimensional wall, we do not know what Colossus will surface the next time, or when. Humankind must choose whether to engage in an all-out pointless war against Corel's great army, or face equally immense colossi, which will appear as soon as the dimensional wall disappears. Strategy, tactics, troop numbers. We are at an overwhelming disadvantage in all aspects. If things continue like this, humanity really will. We can't give up yet, Bill. We have one final option. Alpha? There isn't much time. We have to hurry. As all of you know, the situation we find ourselves in seems pretty dire. Due to my lack of sound judgment, I fell for Corel's trap. The Ironheart, which I considered to be our only hope, turned out not to be the key to our salvation after all. If we had used the Ironheart in Albion as I stubbornly insisted, I dread to think what would have happened. This situation is one I created. I am solely to blame. Yes, I am the descendant who was always defeated. That is likely why I was never able to link with the Guide. I should never have become Commander. However, if there was someone who could heed the true calling of the descendants, then I would let go of everything I have believed in up until now and put my trust in them. Everyone, I am ordering the destruction of the Ironheart. I will deal with the Magisters. I believe they wouldn't be able to survive without us anyway. Descendants, you need to work with the Guide and carry out any and all necessary operations to destroy the Ironheart. No need to wait for approval from HQ. Just make sure you are as victorious in this as you always are. I'm sure that you will be. As you always have been. I place my trust in you, Descendant. Command. We must move quickly. We need to support the Descendants and stop the Vulgus at all costs. Descendants, I have heard Alpha's message. I am sorry I'm unable to directly communicate with him. Come with me, Descendants. It is our turn now. Achieving our true target. However, as Alpha said, 
The situation is dire. We must hurry. First, it would be wise to move the Ironheart in the White Knight Gulch to Albion. Albion has put in place defensive measures to counter Volga's battleships. We should also be able to access the energy required to destroy the Ironheart. But we need an immense amount of RK to detach an Ironheart which is linked to a Prime Hands. For this reason, most of the descendants must be sent to aid the detachment. For you, however, I have a different request. Descendant, come with me to where the phenomenon known as the Pillar of Light occurred. When that Pillar of Light took effect, as well as the energy of the Iron Heart, I felt a familiar kind of pain, as if my skin was peeling and my flesh was melting. There must be an inverted iron heart there. Corel would have connected it to a prime hands in order to collapse the dimensional wall. We must stop this before the dimensional wall is completely destroyed. We must retrieve the inverted iron heart. If we fail to do so, even if the iron heart is immediately moved to Albion, countless colossi will appear throughout Ingress. However, if we take back the inverted Ironheart, the destruction of the dimensional wall will be stopped, and Corel's advance will be delayed. I will deliver the mission to detach the Ironheart to the other descendants. Please go now, to the place where the Pillar of Light was. I will meet you there, descendant. Guys, this is Jaber. I've been dispatched to the Hagios. I'm investigating intel that Aemon, the General of the Legion of Immortality, was recently here. I don't think Aemon appearing at this point in time is a coincidence. I'm sure it's related to this incident. That is indeed unusual. I'll join you there, Jaber. Looking for me? I'm sure a colon stealth agent isn't in Albion to relax. What do you need? I have a message for you. <sighs> Are colon's comms channels just for show? Time to embrace technology. My orders from number zero were to deliver this in person. Comms channels should not be used. <sighs> so, what's the message? Number Zero will brief you on the operation in person. I'm to deliver the location of your meeting. I've sent the coordinates to receive. Please go to that location to receive details of the operation. Number Zero? Why do they want to see me in person? Damn it! We have no name, age, gender, or ego. All we have is a mask to hide our identity and a number instead of a name. And even this number will be passed on to a new operative when we die. So that even our deaths are never known. We may be the best assassins in all of Albion, but we can also be replaced at any time. We are unknown. We die unknown. This is what it means to be a member of Colon. Number six, I have a new operation for you. Of course. You wouldn't have come to find me if you didn't. Even the trees seem to despise you. You must carry out this mission. You understand, yes? There can be no refusal. Hmm. Do officers make it their hobby to screw people over? Why do you think that? Don't play dumb. Your body may have been turned into a tin can, but I know your memory's still intact. I'm sorry, but Neuron is still alive. And it's your job 
to kill him. Of all the people, you! How could you do this to me? Who am I supposed to? this time. No hesitating. There is no next time. Have you reviewed the Operation Intel? Don't let me down, number six. <sighs> New run. New run. Number six, did you check the condition of your mask? You're up against the order, so your mask will be crucial. Come here, I'll double check for you. Let's see here. Mm, there. The valve on the back was a little loose. It should be good now. This worked out for the best after all. I'll be able to get revenge. Finally. Have you reviewed the Operation Intel? Don't let me down, number six. <sighs> New run. New run. Number six, did you check the condition of your mask? You're up against the order, so your mask will be crucial. Come here, I'll double check for you. Let's see here. Mm, there. The valve on the back was a little loose. It should be good now. This worked out for the best after all. I'll be able to get revenge. Finally.
In order to chase down Neuron, I'll need to work out why that bastard is experimenting with the Void Fusion Reactor. The Order views the Legion of Immortality and their machines as tools. If they need any experiments done, the Legion of Immortality will perform them and report the results. However, this time the high-ranking officials, Neuron and the priests, are leading the experiment, and it's being conducted using a machine called a Void Fusion Reactor. It's pretty clear that this Void Energy has something that appeals to them. So much so that they're willing to witness the experiment with their own eyes. Truth, but the Legion of Immortality. They weren't just using the fusion reactor, they were experimenting on those units. Hmm. I felt something familiar coming from the Legion of Immortality units. The toxin from the Void Fragment. The same toxin that comes from the Order of Truth's fungus. But what if Neuron's goal? is to expand beyond the Order and strengthen all of the Vulgus forces. <sighs> this is getting more complicated. I need more clues to solve this puzzle.
In order to chase down Neuron, I'll need to work out why that bastard is experimenting with the Void Fusion Reactor. The Order views the Legion of Immortality and their machines as tools. If they need any experiments done, the Legion of Immortality will perform them and report the results. However, this time the high-ranking officials, Neuron and the priests, are leading the experiment, and it's being conducted using a machine called a Void Fusion Reactor. It's pretty clear that this Void Energy has something that appeals to them. So much so that they're willing to witness the experiment with their own eyes. of truth, but the Legion of Immortality. They weren't just using the fusion reactor, they were experimenting on those units. Hmm. I felt something familiar coming from the Legion of Immortality units. The toxin from the Void Fragment. The same toxin that comes from the Order of Truth's fungus. But what if Neuron's goal to expand beyond the Order and strengthen all of the Vulgus forces. <sighs> this is getting more complicated. I need more clues to solve this puzzle.
Asceticism. That's a grandiose name for the schemes of a scumbag. The Legion of Immortality Forces have been equipped with pain amplification devices under Neuron's orders. It looks like he tried to increase the amount of pain they felt and see how they reacted. So, he injected Legion of Immortality units with toxic spores, then experimented on those units using the Void Fusion Reactor to see if they felt pain. Now, the important thing is determining how successful his experiments were. What stage did he get to? And is he really planning to use the findings to strengthen the Vulgus across all of their forces? Agonia. One of Neron's most active priests is currently stationed in the White Knight Gulch. If I search in that area, I'm sure I'll find more intel. I need to hurry. Reyna, uh, I love you. Uh, please don't cry. Uh, I'm hearing it again. Damn it! I can't catch a break.
This toxin's much more concentrated than what I found back in Vespers. And there seems to be some unknown fungus mixed in as well. <coughs> oh, damn it. It's too strong. I can't stay here for long. I need to check the void fusion reactor before my filter fails completely.
disconnected from the boy fragment. That's why it felt similar but different. But Neuron is still experimenting with it. And the Order always tests on humans near the end. They want to be able to modify and brainwash any humans who don't follow their doctrine. Mm -hmm. 